Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we are going to design this pie chart using modern CSS. We are going to be using a CSS property called Conic Gradient. And uh, first off, let me warn you that this works only on a few browsers. In fact, it works only on Chrome and Safari as of now. So if I go to canIuse.com, here we can see all the browsers that support a particular property in CSS. So let's type conic gradient. And here we can see we have a couple of versions of Chrome supported over here. And we also have Safari supporting the property. And uh, that's basically it. We don't have any support for Firefox. But I believe that they will be adding support soon. So with that in mind, let's get started. So first of all, let me go to Google Fonts and uh, I will add this font called Railway. So I'll click on this add button and uh, I'll go to customize and I will also select the light 300 version. So just go to embed and uh, copy this line of code from here. I have opened up my project in VS Code and these are the two files that I have index.html and style.css. So first of all, let's write the marker for our page. Since I'm using VS Code, I can just type exclamation and press tab and I'll get this basic HTML5 boilerplate. And uh, let me add the font over here and uh, let me also link my CSS. We'll type expertise over here. This pie chart can be used in your portfolio website where you can show your skills of uh, different languages. So let's go ahead to the body section and let's create an H1 and uh, we'll type expertise. And uh, I'll just open this with live server. This is an extension that I had uh, installed for VS Code. So there's our heading and uh, now we will create a division with the class name of expertise container. And in that we'll create a division with a class of language. And then we'll have a division with a class of expertise. And we'll be having different divisions for different uh, languages. So first of all, we need to have the JavaScript pie chart. So we'll just have one more class called JS. And uh, we'll just copy this whole language division from here and we'll paste it once more and uh, here we will type python now i also need to have a heading over here so just below this i will create an s2 and we'll type javascript over here and i'll just copy this line of code and uh, paste it here and here i will type python so that's basically it with our uh, markup now let's go to our style.css and uh, style this page First of all, let's add some styling for everything. So we'll type star and uh, here we will type padding zero and box sizing of border box. Now we'll add some styling for the body section. So we'll type display of flex. Align items to the center. Flex direction of column. Font family of uh, railway a background color of ECF0F1 and a margin of 0. Now we'll style the H1. We'll set the margin to 0. Padding of 16 pixels. Width of 100%. Text align to the center. Background color of 000, and the color of the text to ecf 0 f1 we'll set the text transform to uppercase font size of 24 pixels letter spacing of 16 pixels font weight of 300 now we'll style the h2 and after that we will uh, get started with our pie chart so we'll type h2 over here and uh, and set the text transform to uppercase font size of 18 pixels letter spacing of 4 pixels padding of 8 pixels 
and border bottom of 2 pixels solid C0, C0, C0 and also text align it to the center. Now we'll style the actual pie chart. So we are given a class called expertise for that. So here we will type expertise. We'll set the margin top to 16 pixels. Display of flex. Align items to the center. Justify content to the center. Width of 220 pixels. Height of 220 pixels. We'll just give it a background color to just see it. And uh, then we'll give it a border radius of 50% and we'll also give it a box shadow of 0, 2 pixels, 20 pixels, 0 RGBA, 122, 122, 122 and 0 0.5. Now let's remove this background color from here and uh, we will target each of the different languages. So first of all we'll target the JS class and uh, here we will type background and here we have to type conic gradient and here you have to supply two colors with percentages so if i type red over here to 40 percent and green to 60 percent we can see how it looks right now but for the effect of pie chart what you have to do is uh, you have to set the green less than this value over here so for example if we set to 40 percent we can see we get something like a pie chart so what we'll do is we'll just change this to zero and then whatever we type over here will be the percentage so we'll just change this red color to ff9000 and we will set the percentage of our javascript knowledge to 95 percent and this color will be white so this is our pie chart for javascript now for the python pie chart we'll just copy this and we'll paste it over here and we'll just change the percentage for example we will set it to 72 percent we have to of course change this to python and here we can see we have javascript of 95 percent and python to 72 percent so whatever value you put over here will be the percentage that will be used for the pie chart and in this way you can add as many languages as you want so for example if i just copy this language and we'll just add one more language and uh, we'll just name it java so the only thing we need to do over here is just copy this and paste it down here change this to java and set the percentage that we want so for example if you are 75 percent expert in java you just type 75 and here we can see the java pie chart and just change this to java so that's basically how you create a pie chart using the modern css property called conic gradient so this is right now not supported by all the browsers but soon it will be supported by all the modern browsers now the last thing we'll do is add some media queries so right now we are designing as a mobile first approach so we are first of all designing for the mobile and now we will add some media queries for the desktop version so we'll just type at media and uh, we will type min width of 720 pixels and uh, we'll target the expertise container division and we'll set the display to flex justify content to space around width of a hundred percent and uh, max width of 700 pixels so that's basically it for our pie chart if we maximize our window we can see we have this side by side so that's all for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, click on the like button if you like this video and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day